Oscar is an autonomous extra-large unmanned undersea vehicle XLUUV, being manufactured by Boeing to meet the growing demand for undersea operational awareness and payload delivery. The insanely large apocalyptic drone of the seas, amidst the ever-evolving landscape of maritime warfare, one unmanned underwater vehicle stands apart, the Orca, the world's first extra-large unmanned underwater vehicle. Silent and unstoppable, this state-of-the-art sea drone glides effortlessly through the water, driven by an advanced diesel-electric propulsion system. The vehicle possesses the unrivaled ability to embark on autonomous missions that span months, forever altering the course of naval operations. As the culmination of years of innovation, research, and strategic vision, forging a formidable weapon that surpasses all that came before, the Orca's true power lies in its astonishing versatility. By stealthily deploying mines, the Orca can create strategic choke points, disrupt enemy movements and alter the course of battle. The drone can also infiltrate hostile territory, gathering vital intelligence with unmatched stealth and cutting-edge sensors, providing the upper hand to its commanders. The Orca can even become a devastating force, as its payload bay, equipped with vertical launch systems, can allow it to unleash a relentless barrage of missiles upon surface and land targets. As the dawn of a new era in undersea combat emerges, the United States Navy's Orca XLUUV stands at the forefront, poised to revolutionize the very fabric of maritime superiority. Echo Voyager has an overall length of 26M, including the length of added payload carriage. It is 2.6M, wide and weighs 50T in air. The submersible can carry out operations for months as it is fitted with a hybrid rechargeable power system and modular payload bay. It can be launched and recovered without the requirement of a rechargeable power system and modular payload bay. It can be launched and recovered without the requirement of support ships. Orca will feature a modular design with an open architecture and potential for reconfiguration. It will provide guidance and control, autonomy, navigation, and maneuvering capabilities. The XLUUV will be integrated with interfaces to allow for future upgrades to accommodate the latest technology and meet evolving threats. It will be able to travel to an area of operation, loiter there, communicate, deploy payloads and return to its home base. An active buoyancy control system aboard will mainly provide capabilities, including autonomous buoyancy control, seafloor mooring and forward and aft trim control. The vehicle's navigation system includes Kalman Filtered Inertial Navigation Unit INU, Doppler Velocity Logs DVLs, Depth Sensors and Seafloor Long Baseline LBL, Transponders. Echo Voyager is also equipped with GPS to support its operations on or near the surface. Encrypted in MARSAT-4, Iridium, Wi-Fi and Freewave-enabled communications are used for command, control and mission replanning, while the vehicle performs near-surface operations. The submersible uses acoustic communications for command and control during submerged operations. For command and control during submerged operations. Orca is expected to be equipped with forward-looking sonar, FLS, and autonomous obstacle avoidance algorithms to avoid obstacles. The FLS and the DVL facilitate terrain following capability at the seabed. The modular payload bay will have the capacity to hold 8T of dry weight and the bay is powered by an 18 kW battery. It will also accommodate external payloads. The payload bay will have interfaces to support requirements for existing and future payloads. The vehicle will be able to carry sonar payloads, including Raytheon Pros' PS60-6000 synthetic aperture sonar for improved ocean floor mapping. Orca XLUUV will cruise at a minimum speed of 2.5 k and a maximum speed of 8 k. The optimal speed of the vehicle will be in the range of 2.5 k to 3 k. It will offer an operational range of nearly 6,500 nanometers. The vehicle will surface onto the water with its mast raised and activate its diesel-powered generators when the onboard lithium-ion batteries are almost discharged.